Okay, now I want to show you how to use, how to track 601 with Google Earth. Okay, same. So you have the decoder and you connect the mini USB connector like this. And uh, here is a USB cable. You connect the USB cable to the USB port here. And then this is internet. Uh, cable so that the Google can update the current data. Okay, to track with Google Earth, you, you will need a uh, middle software in between the Google Earth and the, our the 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 the, the can hole uh, from the decoder. Okay, so now first of all, I, I will use the middle software. For instance, I use the GPS gate software. I enable it and as you can see in this corner there will have a red uh, GPS gate icon. Then I click the right button and go to the setting. And then on the output uh, section I will select the Google Earth uh, then head at, at, and then I will turn on the decoder. Okay, when you, as soon as turn on the GPS gate will recognize uh, the device already enabled. Since uh, we use USB cable, so we don't need to turn the switch to the most left. Just turn the switch to on um, in the middle is okay if you don't use Bluetooth. Okay, now the GPS gate already recognized the device and the device is in COM4. So now I enable the Google Earth software which you can download from the internet. And then you will call the telephone number inside the, the G, uh, 601. Okay, now I, the GPS gate already recognized the CAM port and CAM4. And then the CAM4 is a Google word, so that we call the number inside the 601. For this case, this is the telephone number 092. Zero, three, oh, three, eight, one, nine. You also can, can call from the home phone or any smartphone. It doesn't matter. I use this mobile phone to call. As soon as it connect, the orange light will stay on. And I use loudspeaker. If I attach the decoder to the phone, as you can see the green light already on and the red light keep feeding the NMEA data. Then you go to the walls, you will see the position like this. And the Google Earth will show you where the object is in real time. As you can see, this is, for instance, this is the position, our current position. 